1941, Carl Karcher and his wife borrowed $311 and then added $15 of their own savings to open a hot dog cart in California. That would grow to four hot dog carts. And then they opened Carl's Drive-In Barbecue Restaurant. Then 10 years after that, they opened two Carl's Jr. Drive-In Barbecue Restaurants. A year after that, they started selling burgers because that makes way more sense. And today, we're gonna eat everything from Carl's Jr., which is also Hardee's, but Hardee's was its own thing. Then 1997, Carl came in and said, I'm buying you out, baby. Get rid of the fried chicken. Get rid of the roast beef sandwiches. Burgers, burgers, burgers. And that's that's the Carl's Jr. we know today. And as always, Eat the Menu is brought to you by Keith's. Not too hot sauces. Just like me, they're not too hot. They're just hot enough to bring home to your family. Now they all come with this sticker. It's a holographic Keith's face. What more could you want? Link in the description. Let's start the video. Can I just say that I actually really like Hardee's and Carl's Jr. I like never eat there. <laughs> But I used to, occasionally, I think they're chicken tenders. I'm very excited, because from my memory, in the, you know, late aughts, early tens of the 2000s, what am I saying? Guys, I'm excited for Carl's Jr. I don't know how we haven't had it yet. Let's start with the breakfast, just like every day does. What better place to start than the breakfast burger? I love it when places have breakfast burgers. Let's see how this beautiful lady looks. Ooh. I love it. This is one of my favorite things is when the bacon sticks out like a tongue. The breakfast burger. Hmm. Well, that was a that was a chew fest. That was chewing. There's hash browns in there. <laughs> Buns are plenty of carbs for a burger. You don't need to put a potato in there. I kind of like it in the in the sense that, you know, I like burgers. I think burger sauce is best on all breakfast items and all burgers. Get in there, girl. Way better. And I don't know what it tastes like. Because the potatoes are really trying to be heard. The potatoes are like, I'm here too. Don't forget about me. I'm like, I don't really want to taste you. <laughs> but they're demanding you remember. Let's get ready for the first mystery of the day. The star of the show. Yeah, this is what I thought it was gonna be like. Feels like a sourdough jack. This is just a sandwich. Breakfast sandwich on bread and there's a bunch of white goo. The grilled cheese breakfast sandwich. That makes sense because there's a lot of cheese on it. Let's go for it. Mmm, thick and heavy. There's multiple swallows per bite, just to get through it. Mmm, that's good. The amount of cheese is totally overwhelming, which is kind of a fun experience. The bread is, it's got, a, it's still got a little too much in the chew department, if you ask me, but I think it's quite tasty. I think that could be a thing you can make at home and be quite good. Just making yourself a breakfast sandwich, but like grilled cheese frying it, grilled cheese frying it, frying it, grilled cheese. Grilled cheese frying it. Or just grilled cheese of fying it. Here's something normal. Do you risk it for the biscuit? Sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, a classic. It's typically what I get anywhere I go if I'm getting a breakfast sandwich. I think it has all that you want. Look at the smooth edge of this sausage. Do we see the smoothness? It's like an old um, stage coach. Put this on your stage, coach. Coach, put me on stage. I remember the biscuits used to be really good from Hardee's. Used to be. I think this biscuit sat under the heater just a little too long. It's hard. Let me try to fix it. the biscuit. Let's just taste the bottom just a lot real quick. Oh, so much chewing. Tastes like McDonald's. Tastes exactly like McDonald's, but the biscuit is a little more buttery. I think it's exactly what you want. You're waking up at five in the morning. You're headed to the construction site. You gotta stop through and get a breakfast sandwich. This is gonna power you through your day. The Monster Biscuit. I love the Monster Burger. The Monster Burger was one of my first burgers I've had from a fast food place. So I was like, holy damn, what's going on there? The Monster Biscuit. It smells good. This sausage looks different than the previous one. It looks thicker. I'm having to inhale very deeply. Ugh. It's just that everything is so thick. Thick, thick. But I, I don't think you need to go for this over the other one. However, if you like spooky breakfast, a Monster Biscuit's gonna do it. And last but not least, the Bacon, Egg, and Cheese Biscuit. Can't have a sausage without its bacon sister. Bacon does seem more feminine, right? The curves, the sultry smell. In the cartoons, it's bacon that's wafting through and waking everyone up. It's not sausage. 
I'm usually pretty underwhelmed by bacon biscuits, but this one's pretty good. I think it's because the biscuit's so good. The biscuit's really good. It's buttery. It's a little on the dry side, but the flavors are all very present. The bacon does shine through the egg. It's not one way or another, but it's a nice presence, and the biscuit is delicious. The biscuit here is quite good, very buttery. I think this is a pretty okay breakfast spread. Nothing was too dumbfounding, except for maybe the one that had potatoes in it. That's the only one I don't think you want. Let's move on to the breakfast burritos. You know I love a breakfast burrito. Now it's time for some breakfast burritos and a couple other items. Joining me for this, please welcome to the Eat the Menu Table Stage, is Jonathan! Ba -da -ba 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 How's it going? Jonathan, did you grow up with Hardee's or Carl's Jr.? I grew up with Hardee's. Same. East Coast boy, East yeah. Coast. I have to say, I learned today that they don't sell fried chicken anymore. He, I, I can't believe you didn't know that. I didn't. It hasn't happened since 1997. That was a while ago. A while ago. <laughs> the French toast. Wow, perfect. Really great job. Some table syrup. Ooh. Best kind of syrup. Not to be confused with any other kind of syrup. I had these from Sonic and they were pretty good. My hometown only had Hardee's and Sonic and Pizza Hut until about 1997. Hmm, that's exactly what I was expecting it to taste like. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really taste like French toast, per se. No, the outside to inside ratio is off. When are they gonna start having breakfast fish? Definitely don't want that from a fast food place. <laughs> what if they just mixed up the French toast sticks with the bread with the fish sticks? I think these rounds are pretty good. In the Chris and Key, the Hash Brown Hunt Down 2K15, these were good. They're basically a lot like the Dunkin' Donuts ones. The Dunkin' Donuts are these, but they have like herbs, but these are just like little good hash brown bites. Let's try the little hash rounds. Hash rounds. They're way better outside of a burger. Hmm, I can see that. <laughs> Ooh, mm -hmm. that is really good. Really good on potatoes. I Absolutely. don't really know why, but it is. Considering how Corpse long thing. ago we bought these, <laughs> so they're long. incredible. I mean, you can kind of tell from the transparency of the cardboard how long <laughs> it's been sitting here. I always think of that um, Simpsons scene where he puts a burger on the wallpaper and it makes it so clear a bird flies into it. That's a great scene. Anyway, watch Old Simpsons on Disney Plus. <laughs> Let's get these out of here. Yeah, so get those out of here. Loaded don't, breakfast don't. burrito. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I mean, well, not great, but <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting red. Yeah, I, I kind of shuddered a little bit. It's kind of <laughs> Christmassy in here. A little bit. Season's oh, greetings. Yeah. <laughs> it smells okay. Yeah, it smells like breakfast. Somehow I thought I almost heard the word raccoon. Well, it smells I mean, like raccoon. Yeah, 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 I'm getting notes of um, raccoon there. Okay, the loaded breakfast burrito. The eggs are... Um, what I would call slimy. I think it's a slimy little treat. <laughs> it's very slimy. I think it's a good, it's not bad. slimy little treat. If you like this texture, you're gonna love it. There's ham in it. No shit. There's ham. This is a piece of ham. You gotta ham it to him. <laughs> gotta ham, ham it to them. Let's move on to the steak and egg burrito. It's an American classic. You know what's crazy is they don't have hot dogs. They've forgotten their roots. Keith, you and I did a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> not too long ago. I have not had one not since. Ready? Oh, uh, I, had one. I am not ready. I don't know if I'll ever be. I have a pretty wild relationship <laughs> with bad food, so there's not much it can do to me at this point. <laughs> Smell it. What do you think it smells like? <sighs> Raccoon, definitely. A garbage can. Yeah. <laughs> and now it smells like beef stroganoff. Oh yeah, beef stroganoff. Beef sure. stroganoff. That's what it, it smells is. like beef stroganoff. Is. Yeah, like like microwaved beef stroganoff. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's try it. The steak and egg burrito. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't like that. Ooh, it's kind of like spicy. It's spicy too. What the? It's very spicy. Why? What is in it that wasn't in the last one? I like that it has more texture. It's less slime. It's a different kind of slime. That bite I took was all beef. I don't think there was any eggs in it. Yeah, the second bite was not. Uh, good. But I already had the eggs, so I, I I know what I'm missing. The eggs are pretty good. I'm trying. I'm looking for a nice thing to say. I'm not. It's like a roll of tape. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> I couldn't find the end there for a second. I was like, this is one whole tortilla. I mean, it looks kind of festive, but yeah. Like that. Oh boy. That, this so, one looks like it's going to be better. You ever butterfly a burrito, burrito before? But this one is just the bacon egg burrito, so it okay. should chase. I uh, should chase. Should <laughs> chase. <laughs> like the first one without potatoes. It also looks like the tortilla's not cooked all the way in the middle. You see that one? There's, you see that tortilla oh, that's like yeah. almost translucent? Oh yeah. How'd that happen? Or maybe, oh it's the cheese. The cheese is in oh. the shell <laughs> and it's congealed a bit. Let's try the bacon, egg, cheese, burrito. Hmm. Five-year-old can make this. Mm -hmm. The bottom level added some 
something adjacent to crunch. Uh huh. Normally they chop up bacon for burritos, but this is yeah. like still slab bacon, mm -hmm. which I like. It really though does taste like a, a like your five year old said, "Mom, look, I made breakfast," and I don't know why they're calling me mom. And they're like, "Oh, honey, that's a nice try. I'm like, very good. You did good. It's very basic." Well, Jonathan, what else is going on with you? It's right now we're filming this right before the holidays. <laughs> so I went to Hawaii recently. On my flight back, I had a ten hour layover in Maui, and I was like. I'm gonna rent a car and I'm gonna drive around the island. I start going into the mountains and uh, the road gets a little more narrow. And I'm like, okay, well this is a little, a little intense. And then it gets a little more narrow. And I reach a point that's like on the side of a cliff, very, very narrow. Cars start coming towards me. I'm like, okay, well I guess I'll turn around and back up, but there's cars behind me. I decide, you know, I can, I can pull over just enough to let people by. And so I pull over just enough, people do indeed get by. But then I'm stuck. Car's like yeah, this. my car's like that on the side of the road. Uh, one wheel is not touching the pavement. The other wheel is like spinning in, in space. I ended up having to walk back to like a, a store that had Wi-Fi, and I used the Wi-Fi to call my brother. I uh, waited for three hours. I paid eight hundred dollars. Men who were not super happy to see me came and pulled my rental car back on the road. And uh, for that. I sincerely apologize to the state of Hawaii. I am the problem. Would you say that your time there was a Maui Wowie? <laughs> it was indeed a Maui Wowie. <laughs> Manager, just send Jonathan a hey, glad you didn't fall off that mountain. No. Send me 800 bucks. Hey, send him 800 bucks. Yeah, why not? Send him 800 bucks. <laughs> All right, I'll be right over there. <laughs> yeah, Jonathan's just, he's not leaving. Let's see what's next. Sides, sides everywhere, some sides. Now I'm gonna eat all the Carl's Jr. sides. Hey, sides, sides time. There's so much happening here. We got some fries, some waffle fries, some onion rings, and some fried pickles, or zucchini, could be. It's, it is zucchini? You f***ing me right now. <laughs> no way. Let's start with these fried zucchinis. They really are just trying to dive out of their shell. Fried zucchinis, this is exciting. Okay, let's try the fried zucchini plain first. I'm gonna have to eat the whole thing. <laughs> now that's a slimy little treat. Wow, so wet. It kind of is like fried pickles without the vinegary part of a pickle. It's very mushy on the inside though. There you are, girl. Get out of that. <laughs> Sipping is something a little more comfortable. It is goo. The zucchini becomes goo in your mouth so fast. But it's good fried food. Zucchini, zucchini you. I like waffle fries, but these are called Chris Cut fries. They're not trying to infringe on the waffle territory. Chris Cut? Not Chris Cross Cut? Chris? Like, is this like some guy named Chris Cut it? The Chris Cut potato. Shout out to Chris. I like the flavor. The flavor is a mild Arby's curly fry, which we all know are the best fries in the biz. It's not as flavorful as that, but it's trying to be that flavor, and I appreciate the attempt. With ranch, it's good. Yum, yum. A natural fry isn't bad. It's just not my favorite style of fry. It's just like, uh, anyone can do that, but only Chris's can do this. Chris's, sound off in the comments. Let's try the fries. It tastes like Lay's potato chips. That is a Lay's potato chip flavor. Alexander, eat one of these fries. Tell me if you think it tastes like Lay's potatoes. It does. <laughs> How'd they achieve that? It is- like Not in a good way, bitch. But, but it is what a Lay's, and maybe they use the same oil. I normally don't really care much about fries, but these fries are d delightful. Wendy's, take note. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> Who are we kidding? We love onion rings. I rarely get onion rings. Mmm, run the onion rings. Will you answer it? And these have like an interesting sort of like panko-y texture to them. They're very light in color for an onion ring. I'm used to onion rings being really bold and dark. The onion rings. My stomach's screaming. It tastes like oil. <clears throat> I taste the onion in there, but I really taste the fryer. Don't get me wrong, I like eating oil. I don't like going to drill the ground for oil, but I do understand it is a, it, it's a necessity Perhaps we could do less of it. We should start looking for better ways. Perhaps a different oil than this oil. That's crude oil. I know how to be crude every now and then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I liked them all. I need any of these sides. These sides could be my side piece. Sorry, Becky. Let's move on to what's next. Now it's time to try some of the chicken to help me peck my way through these things that only cost a few bucks. <laughs> oh, Please wow. welcome everybody's favorite blue burger. Yay. Yay. 
way. Hello. What you got there? Well, it's time for everyone's favorite segment. Alex brought some cookies to the all you can eat, eating the menu time. Back with a vengeance. Wow. Today, Huey helped. Can you tell which part he did? It's another desperate plea for people to book us <laughs> to perform. I love that. Yeah. I love that. It says book Blue Burger. Of course it does. Tell Very me nice. about the dessert. Well, I will. This is a one bowl chocolate cake. So let's try Alex's cake. Only one bowl. Ooh. <laughs> This is probably one of the best things you brought me. It's just good, wet chocolate cake. Now it's time to move on to the chicken treats. Hey, this looks like Buffalo Wild Wings. Wow. I would like to just point out. Oh boy. My <laughs> I was like, we've got a lot to get through, so let's start. But then you have a but first. I just want to say, chicken nuggets at Carl's Jr. were always my favorite as a kid. I think I've probably eaten at Carl's Jr. twice. And you ever eat at a Hardee's? Not really. All right, let's actually start with uh, Alex's favorite, little chicken stars. Keith, you're my little chicken star. <laughs> I am a chicken star. <laughs> Thank they you. look like elementary cafeteria food. No, they're little star They're very fishes. similar to chicken rings, in my opinion. Have you ever had a chicken ring? Like an onion ring with chicken? No. Oh. It's like a bagel, chicken bagel. Huh. No. <laughs> it's a chicken ring. Yeah. It's sort of its own thing. It's kind of flat. <laughs> I love how badly you want to get through these. And <laughs> we're really just trying. Let's going. try the chicken stars. You eat them one at a time. What do we think of the, the stars? I would get them to eat condiments with. I gotta tell you. <laughs> Please, Alex. Alex oh don't God, Alex, joke. Andrea, I know that joke was hilarious. Don't joke. Comedy, it's a powerful tool. Those chicken nuggets bring me They're back. They're not nuggets. They're, They're stars, stars, bro. They're not O's. They're not, They're not tiny little. They're not dinosaurs. They're not dinosaurs. bagels. They're stars. They're the logo of the brand. The hand-breaded chicken tenders. Oh, wow. Mm. It's good. It is like probably 10% drier than I'd like. Mm. It's a little dry, but with the sauces, immediately makes up for it. It's so good. There's so much flavor in this. I feel like this is one of the most overlooked items in fast food history. Wow. I think it's damn fine. Skip the stars. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, skip the stars. Whoa. You don't need the stars. Ooh. The bacon and Swiss hand butter chicken sandwich. It looks pretty good. And once again, we got the bacon tongue, which you know I love. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna like the bacon on this, because I really just want to experience this chicken, but let's try it. Well, don't mind if I do. Bite. It looks good. It's salty. It's I'll take a little no bacon yeah, bite. See if you can. And listen, last time I was on Eat the Menu, not eating pork, a lot of people trying to tell me how to be a Jew. I'm not gonna eat the bacon. I know that there's some juices on it. I get it. I've thought it all. It's my observance, my Judaism. Much love to all my people. Damn straight. Right? Damn straight. I don't even think that touches the Popeyes Chick-fil-A breakfast no, chicken no, sandwich No, no, of course it doesn't touch, but it's still really good. I wouldn't know about Chick-fil-A because I don't eat there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the hot honey. <laughs> Bread and chicken sandwich. It's like the bacon's holding the sandwich for you. I feel like it looks like bacon feet if you flipped it upside down. Or bacon walrus teeth. <laughs> it tastes like a breakfast item. Yeah, it looks like a breakfast it item. It sounds like a, a breakfast item. I mean, it's got bacon and honey. I'm like okay on hot honey, but all the hot honeys I've had have been too hot, honey. And <laughs> I haven't been able to eat them. Mm. This one is like a nice medium honey. This is the chicken sandwich to get. At, yeah, you like that? Yeah. But well, you're a little candy boy. Well, I love this one. I've never seen something wrapped in a navy blue wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a sandwich in a navy blue wrapper? I mean, it's really more Royal Navy. Why do you keep doing that? That's how I do it. Oh, wow. It's like a spicy little McChicken baby. Oh, wow. It's boring. Yeah. I hate these sandwiches. It's an interesting name for the sandwich. Mm-hmm. It's Taco Bell lettuce. <laughs> for some shitty lettuce. My fiance says that fast food places kind of taste like a bathroom sometimes. That sandwich tasted like a bathroom. That's disgusting to say after I took a bite. What difference poop, does it poop, make? Poop sandwich? <laughs> Not a poop sandwich. In my more, mouth more like a urinal cake. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they call it a urinal cake? A urinal cake? Well, you have to bake it. No, you don't. <laughs> you bake it. You, and... you marinate it, maybe. Oh! I don't want oh! <laughs> Oh my god. The chicken looks gross. Yeah, this looks really disgusting. Nice. The chicken looks wet. Doesn't it kind of look like a like an old white guy who just finished working out? <laughs> like yes. a little? And he's sort of like, I don't know, we don't want to say it, but you can kind of see the outline of his balls. And you're like, I don't want this. Oh my god. And you just like, I can't, I don't want this. That's how the sandwich makes me feel right now. Let's try it. Oh god. Mm. 
Oh, mm, boy. Sweat. It's sweat oh. all over you. All right, I'm gonna eat his head. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Oh. oh, it's so good going down. Oh, good. Well. You trying to make a little tower? Mm -hmm. The tower. We're gonna spit out on the show. I'm sorry. On the show. I'm sorry. On the show. I'm sorry. I have a life to lead. You know the what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to find joy in my life. There's not many food products that Huey Stonefish has ever spit out in his life. Unless it's spoiled beef. <laughs> <laughs> this is the actual one they're putting to compete because this is the Southern presentation, which means just mayo and pickles and chicken. Mother mayo? <laughs> yes, you may. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Wow, what a bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, I think mm, this is really good. What? Mm. Okay, all right, get over here. It kind of tastes like the Shake Shack chicken sandwich. Mm. Not as good, not as good as Shake no. Shack, but it like, that's what it reminds me of. That is a great entry into the chicken wars. I'm mostly happy about the chicken wars because they made everybody have at least a good fried chicken sandwich. It brought up the floor. Can help. It, it, it fell it off, up, it fell off. <laughs> The Chicken Club! Pay your dues <laughs> if you want to attend the Chicken Club. <laughs> I gotta Same tell you, when they're not frying their chicken with breading, it does not look appealing. Yeah. Very bland. I can't do it. I just can't. You're just oh. not even gonna mayo with oh. 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 spit out one of these chickens already oh. today. You know I what, can we? I'm here to spit out food, to let oh. millions of people see me spit out food. There's stubbornness that I hate. I'm still gonna take a bite. Oh. Character growth and oh. <laughs> I don't like it, but I like it better than the other one that was like this. It squished a juice into my mouth. Imagine you're me. Oh. <laughs> well, that's oh. not gonna make you sandwich. I wanna say, what's happening here? <laughs> oh, no, what is that? It's cheese. Oh, it looks It's terrible. just cheese on a tomato, which really creates an awful <laughs> texture. <laughs> Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's my favorite song from the Newsies. No! Oh, what is that? What the f is that? I'll do it. Santa Fe. I'm Santa gonna Fe. eat it I'm because eat it. I'm a team player, you. Do you see what I have to put up with? He's not being a team player when he doesn't eat the sandwich. Okay, I'm gonna try the Santa Fe chicken sandwich. Your mom and dad are gonna keep fighting about it. Oh boy. It's a green pepper. Oh boy. It's just a green pepper? It tastes like a fajita. I mean, compared to the other ones, it's pretty good. The texture's still gross. It's really bad texture. But compared. And the pepper is very slimy. Do you get any of the pepper? I woke up today and I just knew something was gonna be wrong. I just knew it, I had a feeling. I was like, something's gonna be off about today. It was these charbroiled chickens. Well, Lou Burger, what's going on with you guys nowadays? My nonprofit that y'all been following, we got a Syracuse coordinator who's coordinating teachers from all over Syracuse going in to work with elementary school students at the Boys and Girls Club. So thank you all for your support, it's going great. Go to book, email. <laughs> Go to www.bookluburger at gmail.com. No, 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 Don't okay. go to that no, website. Do that. Just Go email bookluburger book at gmail.com. And I'm probably going to read your emails. Let's we'll just see you later, okay? Let's Thanks everyone. To a fresh new slate. Pizza Hut keeps emailing me. Pizza Hut's like, Keith, you're almost to a free medium pizza. But then the next day they're like, Keith, you've earned free cinnamon rolls. But I'm like, yeah, but if I cash in on the cinnamon rolls, I'm no longer gonna be close to the medium pizza. You can only pick one. Can you order a lot of Pizza Hut? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, Domino's, boo, Pizza Hut, woo! I'm gonna take a moment to talk about Pizza Hut. I have been starting eating the thin and crispy again, and damn, it's good. And it doesn't make you feel like garbage as much as the pan pizza, which I love. I love the pan pizza. The hand tossed is trash. They should discontinue it, but the pan, ooh. Yum. Anyhow, it's time for the Value Burgers, AKA the Double Double Toil and Trouble Burgers. What are they called? The Charboil Double Deals. And they come in Pokemon colors. You can get the Bulbasaur Burger, the Charmander Burger, or the, or, or oh wait, this is, wait, this is the Squirtle Burger. You can get the Squirtle Burger, Charmander Burger, or the Bulbasaur Burger. This is the double burger. I bet it's just a normal, like, equivalent to, like, a uh, McDouble. Yep, that is a McDouble right there. So let us try the Carl's Jr. variety. Honestly, that tastes like a backyard burger. It tastes like you're over at somebody's house and their dad made, like, some pretty good burgers. And you're like, ooh, can I get a burger? And they're like, yeah. And they set it up, and that tastes perfect. I choose you, Squirtle. The jalapeno one, Charmander. Oh, I get it, too, because Charmander, it's hot. Oh, this is a treat for a value? Item. The jalapeno double char burger deal. Charmander. Ooh, 
It's hotter than I expected. That's a hot burger. It's good. The flavor is tremendous and the heat is strong. Woo! Charmander! This tail's flame is not extinguished, baby. That's almost a Charmeleon burger, if you ask me. <laughs> that got me lit up. I got fuel. It woke me up. My tongue is hot. Woo! <sighs> Woo wee! <laughs> Woo wee! It's hot! That's hotter than I expected. Gorbasaur, I choose you now. It's the California burger. It's got like an eyebrow. Hello. <laughs> He's like doing the rock move. He's <laughs> smell what the rock is cooking. <laughs> Let's go for it. The California Bulbasaur burger. Hmm. I like it the least, but only because the onions somehow are too sweet. Maybe they caramelized Vidalia onions, which are already super sweet. They're good, but this one, just this this classic. That's exactly what you want. That's excellent. The Pokemon burgers are good. If I were to choose one, I would probably, maybe I'd choose the spicy one. That was hot, but it was a ride. Well, that's it for the value burgers, but it's time to move on to some bigger, beefier boys. Let's see what other burgers are in store for us. Listen to my voice. I'm like Liam Neeson. Almost. Now I know that Carl's Jr.'s team is watching this. Say hi, tweet at me, say hi, say something. Don't pretend you didn't see it. Doesn't have to be weird. We're not in a relationship, but you can say hi. <laughs> All right, we got a big burger with cheese. This is actually one of the smaller burgers offered to me. <laughs> Ooh, it's a big patty, it's onions and ketchup. Basically this is just a big version of the discount burger, but instead of two patties, it's one patty. My mom's name is Patty. This isn't gonna be the thumbnail burger. It's not hot enough, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, whoa, there's a lot of mustard. <laughs> I just like fully inhaled straight mustard. That was a very strong moment for my nasal passages. Oh, update. To everyone who knows about my eardrum injury, I went to the ear doctor this morning. Guess whose eardrums are 100% healed? Now doesn't that sound nice? The big burger with cheese. Oh, what is it? It's a big hamburger? I can't believe it. This is just a big hamburger. Where do I want it here? Hmm. Although it has a little too much gumness to it, but I do think this again tastes like a good backyard burger. I love the flame broiled taste. <laughs> I know it sounds like I didn't. I was just trying to enunciate. I love the flame broiled taste. I do. <laughs> the famous star, the cheese. Maybe. We'll see, won't we? Oh, look at that lettuce. Look at that. That looks kind of like a fancy burger, huh? God, they put the whole farm on this one. This looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little disheveled, but it does look like their commercial burgers, right? Their commercial burger is like a little bit messy. They're one of the brands that present the burgers as a cascade of falling wet ingredients that land perfectly stacked and bounce. At no point do I want my sandwich to be cascading with all the ingredients separate. <laughs> I just want to eat it. Mm, fine. This one especially. Tastes like a burger my dad would make for my mom. At Burger King, a lot of the burgers didn't taste good. They were like too much, too meh. These are not too meh, they're yum. And they smell good too. <laughs> I'd get a candle like that. What would the candle be called? <laughs> a candle would be called the Famous Star with Cheese Burger Candle. Woo, okay. Let's, yeah, I guess we gotta do it. Ready, Johnny? <laughs> It's a superstar with cheese. It's a superstar with cheese. It's a superstar coming to you now. Superstar with cheese. Normally bur burgers don't have a front or a back, but I gotta say, this is the front. This is the bite I want. Look how much cheese is pouring out of it. It looks exactly like the width of your mouth is the doorknob of the burger. I could probably get, you think I can take a, a bite of this burger as half of the burger? What do we think, audience? Woo! All right, let's go for it! I'm trying to be Sam Ramsdale right now. She's got the record for the biggest mouth for a lady. She does. I know her. Hi, Sam. This is what she does for a living. Mm -hmm. Now we are do. Carl, you've done it again! That was delicious. There's so much burger stored in my cheeks. <laughs> Like a squirrel. Okay, let's let's back it up a little bit. 
But it's time for a little yeehaw. <laughs> Western bacon cheeseburger. Yeehaw! Ride em, cowboy! Maybe I shouldn't have eaten that half burger. What have I not really slowed me down? This has got a little tongue, though. Western barbecue bacon burger with onion rings on it. This actually tastes what, like what I remember Hardy's tasting like. I don't know if I like it, but it's very meat forward. I've had these flavors and I've had them better so far, so I'm not excited about it. But maybe I just need to eat twice the beef. What's better than one cowboy? A double cowboy. Cowboy with a cowboy on his shoulders. <laughs> we call that a double cowboy. That actually looks kind of thumbnail-y a little bit. Sometimes I feel like when I'm doing thumbnails that I'm like a children's show host. And like, even though I'm an adult, I don't know things. Is that how children's show hosts are? It's like, what's this? Do you guys know what this is called? A burger. Oh, right, a burger. What do we do with burgers? Eat them. We eat them. That's right, guys. Let's eat the double barbecue bacon burger. <laughs> You can see that bacon. I'm going back. <laughs> you know what? I like this one better than the single. You know what? There's more barbecue sauce because there's so much extra beef. It's got way more barbecue sauce and it balances it really well. Really well. And so we open it up like a saloon door. That was fun. These burgers are great. I got nothing bad to say about these burgers and I really thought I would have many bad things to say about the burgers. Anyway, it's time to raise the beef bar. It's time to see what a big daddy thinks of this beef buckle bonanza. Let's get Ned in here. As we continue on the burgers, these are some of the biggest and the fanciest. I like to call them big daddy burgers and to help me eat them is our own big daddy, Ned Fulmer. Oh God. Chairs on the ground. Woo. All right, Ned, how's Let's it eat going? some big daddy burgers. Wait. I got a big appetite. Flavor lit by fire. Just like the best swords. I do love, yeah, that's true. Oh, forged. So they get forged. They should have said, Flavor forged, forged in by fire. fire. Forged in fire. This is Big Carl. Uh, that's a hefty it's a burger. Big burger. What's going on? Away. I mean, peel them up. It's melty. It's slathered. It's thick. It is huge. If this burger were my ass, it would be thick. <laughs> Your ass. <laughs> yeah. It kind of looks like like packing peanuts. It is a little gray. I don't know if that's, I'm doing them too dirty like that. Are these little pickle freck flex? Okay, well, let's try it. The Big Carl. Does it taste no. like a backyard barbecue burger? It tastes good. It's just good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's like up there with Shake Shack. I've been saying the same thing about the burgers before and you just come in and say it on your own. What well, validation. Validation? We didn't rehearse this. There's no rehearsals. For There's this. no script. Can you imagine doing this twice? Before we get into the boxed burgers, we have this special promo burger. And what's the promo, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. The promo for this is gonna go beyond your expectations. I don't love Beyond Beef, so this might be the only one that disappoints me, but hey, you know what? Maybe they did it. Maybe they made it work. It, it surprisingly tastes a lot like burgers. It looks pretty fake. I feel like when I make the Impossibles in my house, they look pretty real. Maybe we're getting fancy stuff. Mm. The Beyond Famous Star with cheese. Mm. So it's not vegan. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Whatever. That's okay. how they get you. That's how they get you. All right, let's try it. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't like it. Like it. it also. It just kind of looks like an eraser. I mean, to be fair, the other one also did, but there was something a little more. Kind of just a hint of pliability. Just a better tasting eraser, I guess. Well, that's true. I'm happy that they do it. I think it's important for fast food companies to offer fake meats. I think it's oh, the yeah. right move. Absolutely. And I still think this is, you know, there are people who do love the flavor of Beyond, and for them, they'll probably love this burger. I'm not one of those people. Let's get back on the real beef train. Moo, moo. Chugga, 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 chugga. Moo, moo. Here's one. 100% black Angus beef. Hey, look at that. Oh, The, the okay. burger has humps. She uh, had we humps have... like a truck, <laughs> truck, truck. I'm like, what? Huh? What? Huh? Baby, move your buns. Buns, buns. <laughs> oh my lord, Oh, there's, there's a lot. Oh, I don't have that many. <laughs> I'm straight, I don't need that many. Thank you. I do like a good jalapeno. Let's try it. All right, it's kind of falling apart. 
Mm. The sauce isn't there. The sauce isn't there. The jalapenos cut like jalapenos, but that was a whole experience. I just kind of wish I were eating nachos. They were trying to swing to make an impressive <clears throat> burger, but their other burgers were already impressive. And this yeah. is somehow missing the mark. This is like what people think the moral of Greece is. Hmm? Change who you are uh -huh. for the people that already love you. I don't like it. <laughs> no. <sighs> Look at the thud on that one. Saucy. This actually looks like a thumbnail burger. Snapshot. It's like a sea. Mustard, ketchup, mayo. Mayo. But a lot of it. What's this one called? A burger. Uh, the original Angus burger. If you like ketchup and mustard, Ned, you're gonna love it. I, I do. I do. <laughs> like mustard. I mean, it tastes too cooked. It tastes too well done. Did we order it well done? No. It's not 1990s Jack and Yeah. Clubs. 1990s, where you kind of roll the dice. Well, no, that's when, no, that's when they rolled the dice too far and then they had to stop rolling the dice at all. Remember Mad Cow Disease? Remember? Mm -hmm. Remember you're Mad Cow Disease? You are younger than us, huh? I know. I guess seven or eight years can make quite the difference. Mm. I mean, I don't really. <laughs> I don't know, you might be. <laughs> well, you learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. We're not legally allowed no, to I ask. <laughs> 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 okay, we got one more burger. It must be the guacamole one, which is gonna be the worst one to try last. Nothing's worse than whitely warmed avocado. The guacamole Angus burger. <clears throat> mm -hmm, that's how I feel. Catching up to me. Ugh. The guacamole really gooshed out as he bit it. Hmm. I don't mind that one. Actually, the guacamole is pretty good. Guacamole is pretty good. For a burger restaurant? They don't even sell tacos here. It counteracts any dryness in the patty because it's just soaking wet it in your mouth. overwhelms the flavor. I wouldn't mind just trying this guacamole on its own. Oh, the jalapenos on their own were pretty good too. I think they should move into nachos. Carl's Jr. nacho platter. Nacho average burger. Nacho platter. They probably would be a brand who would do like <laughs> Carlos's Junior. Oh, no. Like, no, 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 no. Whoa, what you got there? Oh, it's my cookbook. It's called the Date Night Cookbook. The Date Night Cookbook, available at datenight.com. With no, datenightcookbook.com. Oh, I always mess that date up. Datenight.com is a very different It's very taken. It's very taken. Yeah, datenightcookbook.com. Yeah, over 80 recipes from my kitchen to yours. Because that shakshuka. It's, it's from Moroccan. Right? Yeah, it's from North Africa, and we do a version with a bunch of Italian flavors. Yeah. In Italy, they call it eggs in purgatory. Who's got like tomato sauce? <laughs> They're crazy. Actually, probably right now, we are on the road uh, shooting the Food Network show, so yeah. check out our Instagram right. for probably some cool behind the scenes stuff, and check out our Patreon. I'm sure we're putting some stuff there as well. Patreon.com slash try guys. All right, then we'll see you next All time. Right, bye. Bye, Ned. And now it's time for our just desserts. Wow, we made it already? And now it is time for our just desserts. Join Joining me to help finish this part of the video is the man who finishes all of the videos, Will Whitworth! Hello. Oh, yeah, you yeah, that baby. It's gonna be fun up here, Millie, I promise. Excited to be here. Didn't know I was gonna be on camera today. Would have maybe trim my beard, would maybe like put a little more effort into my I appearance. Didn't shave my face. But see, here's the thing you can look like shit sometimes. I do. I should like, do. Well. That should be something we talk about. Like, it's okay to look like shit sometimes. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You don't have to look hot all the time. No. That's too much pressure. It's impossible. <laughs> Putting on a mask, just like my water bottle wears a mask to look hotter. Mm -hmm. You know how much hotter this water bottle looks? Oh, it's much hotter. It's way hotter. Yeah. The cookie. Here's the thing about these kind of cookies. Sometimes they're amazing. I agree. Even though they're like individually wrapped and they must be full of preservatives. They're, they're like good. made in a factory, basically. But then sometimes they suck. <laughs> Mm. And guess which one this is? Is it the kind that's good, or is it the kind that sucks? I'll give you two guesses. <laughs> <laughs> you hate it. I think it's bad. Like, like you have coffee, it might be good with the coffee. Yeah, let me try because with coffee. Because it has such little flavor. <laughs> Dogs, I'll, I'll try it, I'll let you know what I think. Let's see what Melly thinks. I saw the piece, it didn't have a chip in it. And it wouldn't kill her anyway, it's probably just gonna give her diarrhea. Exactly. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> People like Will. Strawberry swirl cheesecake. Look at this cheesecake. But you don't like sweets in general, right? I don't, but I like cheesecake because it's a little bit savory. The, the sweets that I like are chocolate cake slash brownies, pie, good cookies. Yeah, not that one. Not that cookie, okay. Cheesecake. That ain't bad. Ain't good. 
If you're expecting good cheesecake from a fast food place, like what are you doing, man? Strawberry cream savers. Not familiar. <laughs> Most people aren't, but some people are. Shout out to the cream saver crew. Chocolate cake. No, we've already had real chocolate cake today from Ali Lou. This one has less Lou Burger promotion. Well, still some though. Still some. <laughs> this is the chocolate cake cake. It's not as good as Alex's, but it's okay. It's okay. It's pretty moist. Mm -hmm. It's got like chocolate chips in the center, so there's like a variety of textures. Oh, at least I got a chocolate chip. I didn't get a chocolate chip. I swear to God, I got a chocolate chip or some sort of chocolate piece. I'm not seeing any of those. No, I'm not seeing any. Well. I don't know, maybe you got one though. Just because I don't see it doesn't mean you didn't eat one. <laughs> Squeak dog with his head on the table, right mm -hmm. on the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, uh, maybe no. not this one. <laughs> I, I believe I've already been canceled, so I don't I don't know that I should. I don't know what this is. Should we find out? Yeah, we have to find out. It can't be a sandwich, but it looks like a sandwich. <laughs> it could be like sweet sticks. Mm. This is also the container they put their stick food in. Oh, it's a cinnamon bun! Okay. You said they didn't have the cinnamon bun! Desiree, why? She's trying to take the show over. <laughs> the cinnamon roll. Oh. I mean, like, I love sweet stuff, so, like, I'd probably eat this. <laughs> no. Don't. Yeah, I know. I went to the doctor recently. They're like, your cholesterol is high. I'm like, this is bullshit. You can't eat whatever you want forever. I went to the doctor. My cholesterol is low. What? I was like, you and she was like, yeah, you seem pretty healthy. I was like, I don't know how. Hey, uh -huh. I got a question for you. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Do you want to stay still or do you want to shake? I guess I want to shake. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Cookies and cream. It looks like gravy. It does look a little bit like gravy. Cookies and cream, milkshake. Cookies and cream, milkshake. Tastes like Oreos and butter a little bit. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's got like a richness. It's got um, really rich butterness. I like this a lot. It's too heavy. I think one sip of that, and I'm like thirsty for a gallon of water. <laughs> <laughs> that one's got moxie. <laughs> this is a chocolate milkshake. You want to do like a cute little diner? Absolutely. It's worse. Oh, I think it's better. I don't think it's good. It didn't make me as thirsty as the butter shake. Do you think I can get Melly to drink out of a straw? Yeah, but she shouldn't drink. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> She's having a good time. Every ounce. <laughs> Every last drop for me. <laughs> Millie. The strawberry milkshake. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. Let's go for it. Oh boy. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it's really sweet, as they all are, but. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. That was good. I think it's sort of like a simulacrum of a strawberry. Like it's like we have, we've gotten used to the artificial flavor. It's so a we're... what strawberry? Well, I'm not gonna explain this. This is a complicated literary term. Can you term. just say the word again? Simulacrum. Downtown Disney is the best example of a simulacrum I can give you because it's styled after like old timey American small towns, but it is in fact just a construction of a giant mega corporation. So a simulacrum is when like a replica stands in and influences people's idea of what the original is. This is gonna get cut for sure. No, but... it's not. <laughs> Not if I have any say, and I think people like to learn here. People never know what they're gonna learn on the menu. Simulacrum. I mean, you're getting closer. I say that all vanilla is simulacrum. Yeah, that's true. Do you feel vanilla is a, a flavor that stands on its own? Hell yeah. Because I agree. Some people don't think vanilla is a real flavor. I know, flavor. people are like, oh, that's vanilla. I'm like, but vanilla is good. You vanilla mean, good. oh, that's water. Water is the flavorless thing that we consume a lot of. The vanilla milkshake. I, I like vanilla milkshakes a lot. I like vanilla milkshakes. I used to make vanilla milkshake my dad and I. Take a big old spoon, scoop some mm -hmm. ice cream in, pour the milk in, stir it up, done. It's, That's a milkshake. You okay, Keith? I want to be like Millie. Yeah, her name is Melanie Griffith. I call her Melly for short. Yeah, I'm making fun of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my, my, my impression of you. Did I just beg you? I got you so hard. Well, she's scared of everything. Oh, that's fear. <laughs> yeah. I see. What did you do for the holidays? Oh, uh, I went home and I took this dog with me and uh, it's the first time taking her on a plane, so. Oh, is she gonna meet the captain? The captain wanted to know if he could meet your dog. <laughs> and we wanted to bump you to first class. That would be awesome. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, hey, if anyone out there works on an airplane or airplane, look out for Will Whitworth next time he's flying. <laughs> Give him a little bump. <laughs> huh? <laughs> right, and how about me too while we're at it? Okay, bye, Millie. Bye, Will. Ooh. 
See you later. Don't forget your coffee. Oh, yeah, I need that. Well, those are desserts, and now it's time for the best and the least best. I want to go out here and say that I'm being honest, I thought this was not going to be good. And overall, it was great. And something I just realized, there were no salads. Nice. Disclaimer, there were a couple items we did not try today because they did not have them at that store. What we missed are the biscuits and gravy, the big country breakfast burrito, the jalapeno poppers, the fish sandwich, and of course, the really big Carl, which was the most confusing because the really big Carl is just the big Carl with an extra patty. So I'm not sure how they didn't have it. Seems like they could have made it, but you know what? We're just customers. What the f do we know? Now we didn't eat the kids menu because the kids menu just has a repeat of some other burgers we already had. But otherwise we tried everything today. Let's start with the least best. The least best were definitely some of those grilled chicken sandwiches. Something about them, the amount of gooey moisture in it, bleh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Those were bad. I think the desserts are clearly an afterthought. If I were to make any recommendation, I would say Carl's Jr. Make a dessert, <laughs> make one. But the best overall, I think they're just like the simpler burgers. That bargain burger trio was great. The first half of burgers I tried before Ned came in, they were all great. They really just tasted like a backyard barbecue. They tasted simple yet satisfying. And for me, there's something nice and refreshing and honestly truly American about a very simple burger. And I think an American fast food restaurant should have simple burgers and crush it. And you did. I really thought that Carl's Jr. was quite good. I know they've had some ostracizing marketing campaigns in the past, but in terms of the food, I think it's pretty good for a fast food restaurant and I don't know if we give it enough credit. Thanks to everybody who dropped by. Thanks to Lou Burger. Thanks to Jonathan. Thanks to Will. Thanks to Ned. And of course, thanks to me. Make sure you get yourself your own little versions of me in the form of my hot sauce. And when you do it, remember you get a cool sticker on my face. You can put that sticker on anything you want. Maybe it's Keith's water. Maybe it's Keith's ketchup. Maybe it's Keith's milk. That one, the last one's a little grosser. But you know what? Do what you want. I can't stop you. I don't live with you. Bye. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Wee woo whoa. Miles Thanks. likes to pick her up like like the Lion King. Uh, Simba. She doesn't like Simba. it. She doesn't like it. She's not. I a fan. can tell.